You're live on Lunch Break Live. What are we making, vegan realtor Jason? We're actually going to be making uh, mashed potatoes, gravy, and stuffing. Mashed potatoes, gravy, and stuffing, three succulent side dishes for the holidays. And we are here in Irvine, California. And so we've got, how many potatoes are you using? So I like to use about two potatoes per person. Yes. Uh, that way you can get enough food for everybody. And it's, it's just an easier way to proportion it. And today I'm using russet potatoes, organic russet potatoes, and organic purple to potatoes as well. And those are baby potatoes. All right, so we're gonna take these potatoes, we're gonna be moving to the stove momentarily and this is so easy and great to bring to relatives' houses that may be pre-vegan and show them that all these traditional dishes are actually plant-based. <laughs> all right, are we moving? Oh, we've got one more. I got one more and then one uh, more. move on to the carrots. And we are with the vegan realtor today, which is a lot of fun. And we're going to be talking also a little bit about the vegan economy, the idea that if you're going to use a realtor and you happen to be vegan, you want to make sure you're giving your money to somebody who isn't going to go out and buy Uggs or a fur coat or, you know, Canada Goose jacket. So why not use a vegan realtor? Exactly. And you got one right here. Okay, <laughs> Jason, um, where are we going now? So next I'm going to finish cutting these uh, baby purple potatoes and then I'm going to put a little Show bit in. Show me the purple potatoes because this is actually something that you said is going to give some color to the mashed potatoes. So this is what it would look if you just cut it right off the top. Mmm, purple potatoes. Who knew? Okay. And they're a little bit sweeter too, so it has sweeter. a little bit of a flavor to it. Aha! Uh -huh. All right. And there's one more. One more purple potato. There we go. It sounds like a good name for a vegan restaurant, the purple potato. Yeah, it does. <laughs> that sounds awesome. All right. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, let's do it. Put some of these in. All right, uh, we're moving start. around the bend here, and we are going to head over to the kitchen, past the reindeer crossing, as we get ready for the holidays. <laughs> and oh, you've got two two uh, <laughs> pots of oil in there. Okay. So I'm going to put a little bit in for the gravy. Oh. So that pot is for the gravy. And this one's going to be for the mashed potatoes. Okay, oh, there we go. Mashed potatoes. So we've got all these going in. And, all right. Huh, so a little bit of potato for the gravy. I don't, uh, the mystery will be revealed, I'm sure. Yes, I'm not yes. exactly sure how you're making this gravy. Oh, you're going to be surprised. Okay. Happily surprised. And it actually tastes better than traditional family um, holiday gravy, so... The trick is on the gravy, you just want to use one potato per person. So that's uh -huh. a little bit different. Got it. So, Perfect. All so right. Me and so, you, we have two. All right. We're going back to a uh, base camp, right? And uh, <laughs> what, what do we do next? So the next step is actually going to prepare the onion and I'm going to also prepare the carrot. Okay. And this carrot actually is for the gravy. Uh huh. So, so it's all plant based. Yes. Yeah. So how does the carrot help? Uh, Don Peterson says, go Jason. <laughs> Thank you, Don. <laughs> okay. So how does the carrot help the gravy? The carrot actually just brings more flavor and adds a little bit of color to it. Mm -hmm. And gives it the, basically the broth taste. Okay. So mm -hmm. I'm going to cut off the ends real quick. Mm -hmm. And then you're just going to basically just cut it off real quickly. Just like little inch pieces. I'm going to save a little bit for later because I want to use that for color. Uh-huh. All right. So and you're I'm just going to toss that into the gravy bowl? Yes. So we're going to toss this one in the gravy. Okay. I'm going to wait right here. because. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. And so where are we at? All right. So now we got to go back to the onion. Uh-huh. So and this is for? This is going to be for the actual stuffing. For the stuffing. stuffing so you're yeah. making, you're, you're definitely multitasking because you're making three things at once. Hank Hollenbeck says, I feel hungry. Yum. Big <laughs> surprise. Okay, so we pull off the uh, outer layers of yeah. the onion. You're using a red onion. Red onion gives it more color. Actually, mm -hmm. is better for you because it has antioxidants in it. Oh, okay. Wonderful. So I I usually just cut off the end right here. It makes it easier. Uh -huh. um, Be you careful wanna, with that knife. 
Yes. Okay. And then you want to cut it directly in half. Uh-huh. Here's a trick that um, Chef has taught me. Okay. So when you're cutting it, you just go from the side and all the way under. You want to use this as a handle later on so you don't cut off the end. Oh, you don't cut off the end. No. And you I carefully like go all the way through. I'm going to do both of them real quick. Yeah. Because I'm going to need a little bit for the... I'm actually going to add a little bit to the gravy to add more flavor. Okay, great. And uh, Colleen Cameron wants to know, what are we making today? Uh, the Vegan Realtor is making three succulent side dishes, mashed potatoes, gravy, and stuffing. Yes. And these uh, red uh, onions are for the mostly the stuffing? Mostly going to be for the stuffing, but I'm just going to add a little bit to the gravy. Yeah. Okay. Um, love it. Like there you your go. cutting and then you style. Just basically... Throw away the end of it because you're not mm -hmm. going to use it. Okay. And I also noticed that red onions make me cry less than some of the other onions. Yes, they have the, a, yeah. a less moisture um, absorption, basically. Yeah. The white onions, I'm just sobbing as if I was watching Pasta <laughs> Blanca. Yeah. But uh, the red <laughs> onions I can handle. All right. So this goes into... We're going to put most of it into where the stuffing is going to be made. Um, and what I'm using for the stuffing is just the red onion, uh, and then also the vegetable broth, and then the stuffing. Okay, so we've got this traditional Olivia stuffing here, absolutely the finest. And again, you know, there are many products that are just sort of accidentally vegan. I mean, yeah. this one says no sugar, and vegan, and no GMOs, and no preservatives, and it's traditional Olivia stuffing. I'm going to come around the bend again. Hold on. We're getting a lot of exercise today. Passing the reindeer crossing again. Now we're, so here we go. We're gonna dump right. this into. Oh, this, this is going into a third. A third pot, and then we're gonna save a little bit, just a handful for the actual uh, gravy. So, so this will be for this the This is the gravy pot. This yes. is the mashed potato pot. And this is the stuffing pot. Yes, correct. Sure. We've got three pots going right now. There it is. Okay. Fantastic. And, and then I'm just going to add um, very quickly. Very quickly, about a cup of vegetable broth. Go ahead and start sauteing the onions mm -hmm. before we add the stuffing to it. Okay, and I'd stuffing. love to see that uh, That's vegetable broth. Uh, so folks know. Let me let me let me see that because this. Everybody has their favorite brands, but again, we don't ever need to use chicken broth. Uh, Pacific Organic Vegetable Broth has all the flavor and we don't need to involve chickens at all. It's completely no. irrelevant and uh, unnecessary. Exactly. Okay, there we go. We've got our three pots going for mashed potatoes and stuffing and gravy. I awesome. love it. There we With go. With the vegan realtor. And all right, what's next? So we're just about ready for the, the gravy, so I'm actually going to start preparing the ingredients for the gravy. Okay, so this is fascinating to me because... I have never really understood how to make gravy. So this one actually uses a little bit of nutritional yeast. All right. So we're gonna use probably about, I would say, a quarter of a cup. And uh -huh. I'm just guesstimating, because I can't yeah, see. Yeah, sure. Quarter <laughs> of a cup, that sounds good. Quarter of a cup, and mm -hmm. then, let's see here, we're gonna put about a half a cup of cashews, oh, raw okay. cashews. Okay, raw cashews. I love it. The All raw right. cashews taste better than the roasted and are better for you. Okay. Here we go. Nutritional yeast and cashews. All right. That looks great. All right. And now we're going to put a little bit of seasoning in it. Um, I would say probably about a pinch of black pepper. Black pepper. I'm going to use organic. Okay. From Whole love Foods. It. Mm -hmm. And then a little bit of organic onion powder. All right, organic onion powder. Oops, there we go. Yeah. And I would say probably about a teaspoon. Okay. Now I'm just guesstimating. That's and all you right. can also do it by taste. Some people like, you know, one flavor over the other. And what's this? And this is going to be garlic powder as well. Oh, garlic powder. Okay. And I, I put a little bit more garlic on it because onion can be a little bit overpowering sometimes. Sure. So it actually evens it out. And then, if you like the spicy taste, yeah. I just put a little, a Let's little see. Let's bit. see. What you got there? So this is going to be red pepper. Oh, red pepper. 
Just mm -hmm. a little bit. I would just say a small sprinkle. Because mm -hmm. it goes yeah, a little bit. Yeah, look at that. So. Now, uh, we're actually going to get ready to bring out the gravy ingredients into a colander uh, so it could strain. And then this is going to be safe for later. I'm going to okay. put this to the side for now. All right. So that's the next step. Okay. I'm going to grab a calendar real quick. Okie dokie. And uh, we've got all of these ingredients coming together. Uh, you're getting some good reviews on your Pacific Organic Vegetable Broth. People say they use it and love it. And uh, we're here with the Vegan Realtor in Irvine, California. And also while you're getting ready to uh, use the colander, uh, keep moving and I'll talk a little bit okay. about the, uh, the whole concept of a vegan economy. Right. And if you're going to give your money and you feel that um, you know, you'd rather give it to somebody who has a compassionate lifestyle, that way you know it's not going to go to a fur coat or um, leather or meat or cruelty-free products. I mean, everything here I see in this house, look, Dr. Bronner's, everything's cruelty-free. So uh, we give money, if we have to do business, we, we work with uh, somebody who's, who's a vegan. And uh, you're the vegan realtor. So if I you're am. looking for a realtor, uh, the vegan realtor is uh, in Irvine. Yes, yes. Uh, now, uh, what are we doing here? So basically now we're going to actually pour it into a blender. Oh. Uh, I use a Vitamix because it has a high spin yeah. blender. It works faster. Okay, so we've got potatoes, onions, carrots that carrots. have been boiled. And mm -hmm. some, yeah, potatoes, onions, and carrots. There yes. we go. Wow. Okay. So add, actually going to pour this in now. Oh, this goes and right this is your blender. mixture of nutritional yeast, cashews, garlic powder and other spices. Yes, exactly. And this is going to be for the gravy. So mm. You pour that in right there. If wow. you leave it as is, it actually can be used for a mac and cheese ingredient instead. This could be the sauce for mac and cheese. Okay. Yeah, I love another it. tip. Yeah. And we've got a lot going on over there. There's a lot of boiling and fire and uh, flame. Okay, let's so keep moving. The next tip is you're going to put about one cup of boiling water into this. So uh -huh. I'm going to actually use the water that's already going. This, this uh -huh. is why I have three things going at once. So you took the boiling water from the potatoes, yes. the mashed potatoes, and you put it in here. You're great. Yes. Thank I you. Like and so you're going to put a half a cup of the vegetable broth in here to give it more wow. of a holiday flavor. Holiday so if we were just going to leave it as a mac and cheese right here, it would just be the water, and you can actually make a mac and cheese sauce with that instead. Mm -hmm. And it tastes amazing. But yes. this is going to be for a holiday gravy. Yes. So the next thing is going to put, I would say one scoop with a tablespoon of butter in here. This Soy is butter. vegan yeah. butter. We got Rick the vegan ounce. butter, yes. Okay. And we're going to save that for later because we're going to use it for mashed potatoes as well. All right. So here we go. Here comes the loud part. Okay. We, we always blend almost every day. <laughs> Here we go. So in about, I would say about 20, 30 seconds. Here we go. Mm. Start it off slow. Let it the splatter everywhere. And then pick it up. Yeah, so I'm going to actually add the broth to it now uh -huh. and just do one quick spin. Uh -huh. You can actually put it in at the same time, but I like to put it at the end because the butter needs to melt first. Okay. Alright, so one more time. Alright, All right. 
That's all you need. <laughs> okay, wow, so. Wow, it's hot. Yeah, it's it steaming. It's hot. Woo! So all you right. can put this to the side and wait till the end and it'll stay hot. Yeah. Just keep the so that's hot. the gravy. So we're one down, two to go. Two to go. Now we're going to grab the mashed potato ingredients. All right. So should I come around the bank? Yes, let's do it. Okay. There we go. Right. We're passing the reindeer crossing station again and heading over to. <laughs> Okay, so this is the mashed potato, and here's the stuffing. So this is going to be the stuffing, the sautéing right now. The onions are sautéing right now, so the next thing is I'm going to strain this, and then I'm going to put the ingredients in for the stuffing. Fantastic. Hey, Vinny Politan joined. Hey, Vinny. Thank you for joining hey, Lunch Break Live, our daily vegan cooking show. And I'm here with the vegan realtor, Jason. Hello. All right. So now, you're going to strain this now? Yes. I okay. like to grab a... Yes, please. Be it careful. can be hot. Okay. All right. <laughs> there we go. So we're going to strain this. Woo! Look go. at that. Mmm, potatoes. So potatoes, that's going to be our mashed potatoes. Potatoes, by the way, starch gets a bad name. Potatoes are filled with potassium. They're super good for you, and people have been eating them since the dawn of time, you know, for centuries, and it's actually really good for you. We've, we've sort of given potatoes a bad name because of french fries, but potatoes yeah. themselves are wonderful. Yeah, so I agree. How do you mash them? So basically, I'm going to throw them back into the pan so yeah. it stays warm. Yes. And we're going to bring it back to the stove just so we have somewhere to set it. Okay. All right. And so. once again, we are making mashed potatoes, stuffing, and gravy. The gravy's done. We will be posting the recipe as soon as we're done. And... Um, that's what we're doing. So the next step is going to be, I'm actually going to grab, let's see here, one of my mini tools. I'm going to grab this. It's going to be for the stuffing. Mm -hmm. so we're going to want to move it around once we pour yeah. it in there. This is going to be for mashing. I don't oh. have an actual masher, but you can you actually can. use this too. Yeah, okay. So we're just going to mash it down. Wow. And then I'm going to add the ingredients, which is going to be uh, spices. Okay, spices are going into this mashed potato. So you can put uh, vegan butter, I would say one scoop of vegan butter, uh, one tablespoon, and then um, I would say half a cup of some, let's see, some of the vegetable broth to give it more flavor, and then we're gonna add all the spices afterwards. Okay. So let me go grab the stuffing mix so we can get that started. All right, perfect. All right. All right, look at that, now that's, onions with the broth and uh, a little bit of, was it just onions so far in here? Just onions and vegetable broth. I'd say there's about two cups of veggie broth in here. Got it. So I already have the pre-packaged one that's vegan. This is the stuffing. But you can actually make it by scratch. We just don't have enough time to do it yeah. today. But by scratch you'd want to use cell bread and then you would toast it, and then you put your um, like your vegan butter on it, and then a bunch of spices, and then you actually have your own stuff. So we're using Olivia's stuffing, which is vegan, non-GMO. So you can check out Olivia's stuffing. And uh, again, there's a lot of products that are just accidentally vegan. Exactly. So here we go. So we're going to pour this in Ooh, look at that. Mm. Yes, definitely do this for the holiday season, folks. Now we're going to reduce the heat to about medium. Uh -huh. That way it doesn't keep too fast and then ruin it. Okay, so. Okay. And then I'm going to grab some more vegetable broth. And the aroma is amazing. So we're going to add about two more cups to it. Whoa, look at that. We are making the stuffing, the onions sauteed in the broth. Then we put in the stuffing and now we're adding the vegetable broth. Whoa. There we go. And we mix it. That way all the flavors get absorbed into the stuffing mix. And then we're going to walk away and let it sit while I will work on the mashed potatoes. All right. So we've got, there's the stuffing. We've got the gravy right here, which is already done. And we'll be posting that recipe now. The mashed potatoes. The mashed potatoes, I'm going to start out with the butter. Okay. Vegan butter. Vegan butter. And I grab the organic one just because that tastes better. Yeah, sure. All right. And then we're going to add some more vegetable broth. We're going to yeah. add some more vegetable broth to it right yeah. here. So I would Woo! say about a half a cup. 
I'm getting hungry. And if you want it to be more creamy, you can actually add almond milk to it. Um, but since we already have the butter, we're not going to add more. Uh huh. Look at that. Now I saw you took a little bit of the butter from the mashed potatoes and put it on the stuffing. Yes. Yeah, so this will add a little more flavor to the actual stuffing here. Whoa. And the aromas with the uh, onions and the spices. Um, Marlena Carrasco said this was my exact Thanksgiving meal. Good job, Jason. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, there, there we, we go. go. You're inspiring me to make this. <laughs> and it's fun. Look, you know, you can have a great time in the kitchen this Thanksgiving uh, and this holiday, the Christmas, New Year's without having any dead animals in the kitchen. Exactly. Yeah. So now I'm going to grab some spices just so okay. give this a little more flavor. All right. There oh, go. there there we go. That now buzz went off. Good. Went okay. Off. okay. All right. I don't need that anymore, so. Okay. Now we're going to actually add a little bit of some Himalayan pink salt. It actually has more flavor. Fantastic. Uh, if you want to add spice, you can. You don't uh -huh. have to. But here's my secret recipe right here. This is nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast is the yes. secret ingredient. All vegans have it in their house. It's so good. <gasps> so just a little sprinkle. That's all you need. <clears throat> I love it. And then I'm going to grab some onion and garlic powder. Okay, we're going to get all these spices over here and, and this, start mixing. And I'm going to add some Bragg's Organic Sprinkle, which is mm. one of my favorites. Yes. It adds so much flavor, so this will actually give it the flavor that you're looking for. All right. So I just add it to taste, so just okay. a little bit at a time. All right. There we go. So I'll put a little bit of garlic and onion powder in it. All right. Garlic and onion powder. That much. was what? The garlic? That'll be the garlic. And then we're going to grab some onion powder. Mm-hmm. So here we go. Just a sprinkle and like one pinch of the Himalayan salt. Okay. Pinch of salt. It's not working. There we go. There we go. All right. So now I'm just going to mix it up and I'm going to mash it at the same time. Mix and mash. Once again, we're here with uh, Jason, the vegan realtor in Irvine, California, and uh, he's making three dishes at once, which is very, very, um, very uh, brave. Yeah. I would say brave. <laughs> now, let's see. Over here, we've got the, the stuffing that's coming together. It's almost done, actually. It's you can see it's starting done. to get soft, soft oh, right there. Yeah. So. so when, when the... Stuffing mix gets soft, that's when you know it's done. Exactly. And if you see any hard pieces, you can actually just add a little more veggie broth. Just put it right yeah. on top. Okay. So I see a couple right here. I'm just going to add a little bit. Oh. And this will bring it to being soft and actually add more flavor at the same time. So here we go. Okay, and it looks like everything might be finished. Woo! Let me just check out the mashed potatoes real quick to make sure they're coming together. Like I said, if you want them to be extra fluffy, you can add some almond milk. But we don't really need that right now because we did add the vegan butter, so that's going to be fine without it. Perfection. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you. Wow. Now we're going to do the taste test. I am very excited. To be involved in this taste testing aspect. This is my favorite moment of the day. We have a plate real quick for you. Let's plate it out, and I just need enough for a taste test. There you go. Wow. Isn't this exciting? And I can't wait for the gravy on top of it. Woo! Perfect. That's plenty. There you go. Thank you. All right. And the gravy. And while you pour that out, remind me what was in the gravy pretty much. So basically in the gravy we have raw cashews, raw cashews. nutritional yeast, mm -hmm. carrots, and mashed potatoes. Woo! And a little bit of onion. And a little bit of onion. So, and spices. So we've added spices too. So we're yeah. going to pour a little bit of the sauce on top here. Whoa! That looks very, very delicious. And these are three succulent sides for the holidays. All right, all I need is a fork and I'm ready to do my taste test. Very excited. So what I'm going to ask you, Jason, is to hold the camera. All right. And so you just hold it up high. Okay. And then I'm going to step into the picture and come around here where the light is. 
and uh, I'm very excited. This is my favorite moment of the day. I am here with the, uh, as it cools off a little bit, I'm here with the vegan realtor, Jason Young, right? Yes. And you are amazing. And um, we met at a veg fest. Uh, he had a booth and he gives, he ties a certain percentage of his brokerage fee to animal causes. So, mm, oh my gosh. Oh, wow. This is delicious. Mmm. Oh my God, this is the best stuffing I have ever tasted. Seriously, Jason, the Thank you. best <laughs> stuffing I have ever, it's official. Mm. <laughs> You know why? Because you can still, you've got the little crumbs. It's not mushy. Yeah, yeah. Mmm, mmm. Delicious! The gravy is spectacular. It's spectacular. And what I like about it, it's got a creamy, cheesy look to it. It's not brown gravy. It's got this sort of, it's got a cheesy taste. Mmm. And the potatoes are fabulous. Five stars. Thank you. Mmm. <laughs> Honestly, this is the best stuffing I've ever had. It's <laughs> awesome. so good. Mmm. I love it. I can't stop eating it. All right, listen. I'm going to put this down, even though I don't want to. <laughs> I want to talk to you a little bit about the vegan economy. Because this is something that we are getting into. Um, so you're a realtor. Yes. And how long have you been vegan? I've been vegan about two years now. So how did you get the idea to call yourself the vegan realtor? Well, basically I became a realtor and that was around the same time that I transitioned to being a vegan. Um, and I felt really guilty about eating animal products and I just wanted to give it up completely. Um, and so decided that if I put the two together, then I have an opportunity to work with people that want to work with a vegan other than people that are buying animal products. Wonderful. And you give a percentage to animal charities. Any in particular? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, with, with, let's, the, my favorite one is... Which I was one? trying to think of the... It's, Oh uh, yeah, shelters. basically I like to give to the animal shelters. There's one that I like in particular, but the name is uh, skipping my yeah, mind right now. Don't worry about it. But you I'll think of it later. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, that's wonderful. And so you know, um, I, I am very much in favor of the vegan economy. Um, I'm trying to use more vegans for um, various things, and I'm in the process of working with somebody to come up with a vegan vegan Angie's list. So you'll definitely be on it as awesome. a vegan realtor. But we'll also have vegan hair cutters and vegan electricians and vegan lawyers and um, people can then choose to spend their money with other people knowing that they're not going to buy cruelty free products, um, animal products, and they're not going to contribute to the exploitation of animals. Yeah. So thank you so much, Jason, the vegan realtor. Thank you. Woohoo!